everyone who is celebrating. I love you all. Be happy always. And thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I am going to create this Eid makeup look using purple, blue and pearly pinky gold shade with some glitter in it. You can switch up the colors to match your outfit definitely. But if you would like to know how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. To speed up the process in the video, I have already moisturized and primed my face and filled in my brows as well using all of my cult favorite product. You can get all the product details in the description box below. To color correct the pronounced dark spots on my face, I am dotting this LA Girl orange color corrector on those dark areas and using the combination of my favorite two concealers, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 and Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium to conceal the dark spots and dark circles and blending all using a damp beauty blender. After my face canvas is looking a little better, it's time to move on to the eyes. I am using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 25 as my eye primer base. It will get rid of any discoloration on my eyelids plus it is going to give a nice bed for all the eye colors. After I powder it with some loose powder, my eye colors are going to last all day and all night long. For my eyeshadow palette, I am using none other than Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. For my first transition shade, I am using the purple shade called Makita on a fluffy brush right on the eye bone above the crease. Now taking the shade purple a little bit more, that Makita shade a little bit more on my same fluffy brush and start building the color in the crease plus I am blending all the harsh edges at the same time. Since I am creating kind of a halo eye, I am going to take this beautiful dark blue shade called Chi on a flat brush and putting it in the inner corners and the outer corners of the eye like this. And building the color really really slowly because this color has a little bit of kickback so I don't want it to fall it off on my perfectly color corrected eyes or under eyes <laughs> then I'm taking this beautiful pearly pinkish shimmery shade on my finger and filling the empty space in the center of my eyelids once I'm happy with the placement of the colors I'm going to just blend all the harsh lines and the edges and also going to deepen up the colors as per my desire. I felt like this look was certainly missing some glitter. So from my Urban Decay Moondust palette, I took the shade Lithium on the wet flat brush and putting it all over my eyelid. I know this whole thing doesn't look good right now, but trust me, it'll look better once the whole face is complete. For the face, I am using my super trusted Make Up Forever foundation in the shade Y335. I am just dotting it all over my face and blending it with my damp beauty sponge. To highlight, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. And I am just drawing two lines right under my eyes where my underlines are. The forehead around the brows, on my nose, down center of my chin and right under where the hollows of my cheeks are and then blending it all using a damp beauty blender again. Now it's really important to set all of these highlighted areas so today I am using this airspun loose powder. This is my first time using this so hyped up product. So far so good but I'll try this couple of times more before I can recommend this to you guys. It's time to complete the eye look so I'm smoking out my lower lash line using the same purple shade Makita using my MAC 219 pencil brush then tight lining my upper waterline and lower half waterline using the Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner in the shade Black. It's so good that it did not move at all the whole day. Finally, I'm highlighting the inner corners of my eyes using the shade Giza. It is the pinky pearly shimmer shade and then highlighting my brow bone as well. 
and finishing up this look till here by increasing the intensity of purple color Makira one last time using my Morphe M433 brush. It's time to give some color back to my face. So I am going in with Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. It's a warm tone bronzer perfect for yellow or orange undertone babes. Plus, I love how easy it is to bronze or contour my nose with this. I know my makeup process is all over the place in this video but I felt like doing a small winged liner to give my eyes some definition and my, my lash line some thickness using NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm totally in love with this. From the NYX Sweet Cheeks palette, I used this dull peachy shade and packed it on with RT blush brush on the apples of my cheeks and topping it up with this Ofra highlighter in the shade You Glow Girl. I think this is the name of the shade but it's just bomb.com. I think I'm glowing. It, it, it is making me look like I'm glowing from within. I totally highly recommend this Ofra highlighter to anybody out there. Anybody out there. I know you guys, this lip shade is a little bit off. I'm gonna change it later in the video, you will see. But here I am just coating my lashes with some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara before I pop on my lashes. And this is the look after the lashes. I am going to change my lip color to a more dull and dusty pink by the Sugar Cosmetics Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in the shade 07 Viola. And finally popping on some Jumkas by Karigari in India and this is my final look. Eid Mubarak everyone who is celebrating. I love you all. Be happy always. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. I love you. Bye bye.